Oxford Read and Discover Level Three. Animals in the Air, by Robert Quinn, read by Claire Willey. Published and copyright Oxford University Press, 2011. Introduction. We see lots of animals in the air. Many of them have wings and can fly, like birds, butterflies, and bats. Other animals can jump into the air, like frogs and kangaroos. What animals can you see here? Which animals can fly? Which animals can jump? Discover. Now read and discover more about animals in the air. Chapter One: Animals that fly. Many animals fly because it helps them to stay safe, and they can move around fast to find food. For example. Bees fly to collect nectar from flowers. Then they use the nectar to make honey. Some animals fly to hunt other animals, so that they can eat them. For example, owls fly to hunt smaller animals like mice. Some animals fly to stay safe from other animals that want to eat them. For example. Small birds fly to escape from cats and dogs. Many birds make their homes in tall trees, where they are safe. Some birds, like storks, make their nests in high places, like the top of tall poles or buildings. Discover. Some storks make very big nests. The nests can be two meters across. Chapter two, wings and feathers. Birds have many small feathers on their body. The feathers keep birds warm and dry. Most birds also have longer feathers on their wings and tail. These are called flight feathers, because they help birds to fly. Birds have very thin bones with air spaces inside. The bones are very light, so it's easy for birds to fly. Some birds have very big wings. The Andean condor is one of the biggest flying birds in the world. It can have a wingspan of three meters. Other flying birds are small, with short wings. Some hummingbirds have a wingspan of only six centimeters. Discover the biggest flying bird was the giant pteranodon. It lived about six million years ago. And it had a wingspan of up to seven meters. Chapter three: Amazing flyers. Most birds can fly, and some of them are amazing flyers. The fastest bird in the world is the peregrine falcon. When it's diving straight down. A peregrine falcon can fly at more than 200 kilometers per hour. Swallows are really amazing flyers. They hunt insects in the air, so they need to dive and turn very fast. It's fun to watch swallows in the evening, when there are lots of insects flying around. Some birds make amazing journeys to find food. Or to travel to a place to have their babies. Bar-tailed godwits fly all the way from New Zealand to Alaska. That's about sixteen thousand five hundred kilometers. The journey only takes about one week, with a short stop in China to rest and eat. 
Discover. Swifts are small birds that spend most of the time flying. They can even sleep in the air. Chapter Four, Flying High. Some birds, like bar-headed geese, fly very high. Bar-headed geese can fly over the highest mountains in the world, the Himalayas. Some of these mountains are more than eight thousand meters high. Discover. Ruppel's vultures can fly at more than eleven thousand meters high. That's higher than many planes. Some birds, like vultures, condors, and eagles, don't move their wings a lot when they are flying high. They soar on warm air currents that are moving around. Birds that can soar have long, wide wings. It's easier for birds to soar when it's sunny. The sun makes the land warm. Then the land makes the air warm, and warm air currents go up. Birds go up on the air currents, and they soar in circles high in the air. Chapter Five: Insects That Fly. The first flying animals in the world were insects. They lived about three hundred and fifty million years ago. Today, most insects have wings and can fly. Their wings grow from their thorax, the middle part of their body. Many insects, like bees and butterflies, have four wings. Some insects, like flies and mosquitoes, only have two wings. Some of the biggest flying insects today are atlas moths from Southeast Asia. These moths have a wingspan of about thirty centimeters. Some of the fastest flying insects in the world are dragonflies. Green dana dragonflies can fly at more than fifty kilometers per hour. Discover the biggest flying insects were Meganeura dragonflies. They lived about three hundred million years ago, and had a wingspan of about seventy centimeters. Chapter Six: Flying Together. Many birds fly together in big groups called flocks. Some small birds fly in flocks to stay safe from hunting birds, like eagles and falcons. Other birds, like ducks and geese, fly in flocks when they move to a new place. Starlings are small birds that usually fly in small flocks. These flocks sometimes join together to make big flocks with thousands of starlings. They look like dark clouds. Some flying insects, like bees, moths, and locusts, fly in big groups called swarms. Sometimes there are millions of insects all together. When locusts are very hungry, they eat all the green plants that they find. Swarming locusts are a big problem for farmers. Discover. Bees only fly in swarms when they are moving to a new home. Special scout bees. Show the swarm where to go. Chapter Seven: Jumping Mini Beasts. Some mini beasts, like grasshoppers, can jump really well. 
Grasshoppers are good jumpers because they have strong back legs. They can jump twenty times their body length. Fleas are mini beasts that live in the hair of many animals, like dogs and cats. Fleas can't fly, but they can jump about a hundred times their body length. That's how fleas move from one animal to another. All spiders can make silk. Many spiders make silk webs to catch insects. Jumping spiders don't make webs. They wait for insects, and then they jump on them. They jump from a silk thread. These spiders can jump about eighty times their body length. Discover. Springtails are mini beasts with a special tail that works like a spring. Springtails don't have wings, so they use their tail to push themselves into the air. Chapter Eight: Bats in the Air. Did you know that bats are the only mammals that have wings and can fly? Their wings have long, thin bones that look like fingers. There's a membrane of skin between the bones. Many bats have a membrane between their legs too. Some bats use this membrane as a net to catch insects in the air. Discover. The biggest bats are fruit bats. They eat fruit, flowers, and pollen. They're also called flying foxes. Bats usually rest in the day and fly at night. When they fly, bats make special sounds that bounce off things around them. Bats hear these echoes and use them to find their way at night. This is called echolocation. Bats also use echolocation to find insects and other food to eat. Chapter Nine: Jumping Mammals. Some mammals are excellent jumpers. This helps them to stay safe from people and other animals. Red kangaroos can jump over fences that are three meters high. They are also fast; they can jump at more than fifty kilometers per hour. Springbok gazelles can jump very far. They can travel more than fifteen meters in one jump. Springbok gazelles can also jump. Straight up in the air. This is called prunking. Some mammals, like gibbons, are good at jumping and swinging between trees. Gibbons can swing about nine meters from one branch to another. They can travel at more than thirty kilometers per hour in this way. Discover. Flying squirrels can't really fly. They have membranes between their body and their legs. They use these membranes to glide in the air, like kites. Chapter Ten: Frogs, Snakes, and Fish. Amphibians can't fly, but some of them can glide in the air. Gliding leaf frogs have membranes between their fingers and toes. They can use these membranes to glide. Some reptiles can glide too. Paradise tree snakes make their body very wide and flat. 
and they can glide about a hundred meters through the air. We sometimes see fish in the air too. Flying fish can jump out of the water and glide for hundreds of meters. Flying fish have big fins that look like wings. Lots of animals can move around by flying, jumping, and gliding. Look around you today. Do you see any animals in the air?